Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see part 2 of problems based on various forms of equation of a line. In my previous video, we have seen part 1. So if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description box below. You can check that out. So let's continue with the problems. Here it says the vertices of triangle PQR are P of 2 comma 1, Q is minus 2 comma 3 and R is 4 comma 5. Find the equation of the median through vertex R. So they are saying we have a triangle PQR. So let's draw a triangle PQR. So P is 2 comma 1. Q is minus 2 comma 3 and R is 4 comma 5. Find the equation of the median through the vertex R. Here what is median? So median means the vertex that joining the midpoint of the opposite side. Here the vertex is R. They have asked R right. So from here it is a line joining from the midpoint of this point opposite side. Here the opposite side is PQ. So this point. Let's take as S. So this S is the midpoint of PQ. So here they are asking the equation of this SR. This is the median. I hope question is clear. So in order to find the equation of this line, we know R. How to find this point S? Since it is a midpoint, we know the midpoint formula, right? So the midpoint, let's take this point as S is equal to this is your x1 y1 and we have x2 y2. So we know x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So here x1 x1 is 2 plus y x2 is minus 2 by 2 comma y1 is 1 and y2 is 3 by 2. The coordinate is 2 minus 2 is 0. So, 0 by something is 0, comma 4 by 2. So, 2 ones are 2 twos are. The point S is 0, comma 2. Now, you got the point S that is 0, comma 2. In order to find this line, equation of this line, we have two points. So, we can go for two point form, right? So, let first let me erase this. So, the equation of the median SR is given by we know the formula y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1, right? So now the points are this x1 and y1, x2, y2. So let's substitute this here. So y minus y1, y1 is 2 is equal to y2, y2 is 5 minus y1 is 2 by x2, 4 minus x1 is 0 into x minus x1, x1 is 0. So let us simplify this. So y minus 2 is equal to 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3 by 4. So here we have x. So let us take this 4 to this side. So this will be 4y minus 4 twos are 8 is equal to 3x. So this implies 3x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the median SR. I hope this is clear. Let us move on to the next problem. So now let us see this problem here it says a line perpendicular to the line segment joining the points 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3 divides it in the ratio 1 is to n. Find the equation of the line. So first let us draw, draw this line segment. So the, there is a line segment joining these two points. So this is your 0, this is your x axis and this is your y axis. So we have a point 1 comma 0. So this point right. So 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3. So 2 comma 3. So let us join 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3. So this is a line segment. So they are saying a line perpendicular to the line segment joining the points. So there is a line that is perpendicular to this line segment. So let us draw that line. So this line is perpendicular to this line segment. So this line divides in the ratio 1 is to n. That means this line divides the in the ratio 1 is to n. 
So let's take this point as A, B, C and D. Find the equation of the line. So they are asking the equation of CD, line CD. How to find? So here don't mistake this point D as a midpoint of this line segment. This is not the midpoint. It divides, this CD divides the line segment in the ratio 1 is to N. So you cannot go for midpoint formula, right? So if you remember section formula, by using section formula, we can find the coordinates of point D. So first let's find the coordinates of point D, alright? So section formula, so section formula to find the point D is given by mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n comma my2 plus ny1 by m plus n. So this is a section formula. So here this is your x1, y1 and this is your x2, y2. Let's point, find the point T. So m is 1 and n is n. So 1 into x2 is 2 plus n into x1 is 1 by m plus n. So 1 plus n comma m y2. m is 1 into y2. y2 is 3 plus n is n into y1 0 by m plus n. So 1 plus n which is equal to 2 ones are 2, 2 plus n by 1 plus n, comma, 3 plus n into 0 is 0, so 3 by 1 plus n. So this is point D, right? So these are the coordinates of point D. Now you got point D and we know this CD is perpendicular to this line. So if you find the slope of this line, we know when the lines are perpendicular, the slopes m1 into m2 will be equal to minus 1. So from there we can find the slope of this line CD. And we have slope and a point. So we can go for slope point form to find the equation of this line. So first let's find the slope. Since CD is perpendicular to AB, we know M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1, right? So here M1 means the slope of line AB. So what is the slope of line AB? So we know slope will be found by y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So m1 is y2. So 3 minus 0, 3 by x2, 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is the slope into. So m2 is the slope of line CD, which is equal to minus 1. So from here, let me do here. So, so m2 is equal to minus 1 by this 3 will go to denominator. So, minus 1 by 3. Right? So, this is the slope of M2. So, CD. So, if you want, you can write this. M1 is the slope of AB and M2 is the slope of CD. Alright? Just make a note of this in order to find this. So, you will not get confused. Alright? So, slope of M1 slope of AB. AB means slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Now that we have a slope of this line and a point D, we can go for slope point form to in order to find the equation of this line CD, right? So let me erase this part. So the coordinates of point D is 2 plus n by 1 plus n and 3 by 1 plus n. And also we have slope of CD is minus 1 by 3. So we have these two. So from here we can find the equation of the line CD. So the equation of line CD is given by y minus y1. This is your x1 and this is your y1. 3 by 1 plus n is equal to slope is minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1. So x minus x1 is 2 plus n by 1 plus n. So you will take LCM here. This implies here we will take LCM. So y into 1 plus n minus 3 by 1 plus n is equal to so minus 1 by 3 into x into 1 plus n minus 2 plus n by 1 plus n. Right? So this and this is gone. 
if I multiply this 3 to this side this will be 3y into 1 plus n minus 3 3 is a 9 is equal to minus x into 1 plus n so minus into minus is plus so 2 plus n right so let me write this final equation here x into x term we will bring this side so x into 1 plus n plus y we have 3y into 1 plus n which is equal to here we have 2 plus n this one we will bring to the other side so this is a plus 9 so n plus 11 so I repeat the equation x into 1 plus n plus 3y into 1 plus n is equal to n plus 11 I know this board looks a little messy but I hope you understood how to solve this so let's move on to the next problem but before that pause the video and note this down so now let's see this problem here it says find the equation of the line that cuts off equal intercepts on the coordinate axis and passes through the point 2 comma 3 so they are saying so this is your x axis and this is your y axis so we have a point 2 comma 3 so this is your origin 2 comma 3 so 2 comma 3 Find the equation of the line that cuts off equal intercepts on the coordinate axis and passes through the point 2 comma 3. So we have to find the equation of line that passes through point 2 comma 3 such that that line cuts equal intercepts. So that means this is the line that passes through the point 2 comma 3. So this line cuts off equal intercepts on the coordinate axis that means if this is A, this is an intercept, X intercept, right? And this is B. Here A is equal to B. So now we have to find the equation of this line L. Since here intercepts are given, so we can go for intercept form. So what is the intercept formula? X by A plus Y by B is equal to 1. So we know A is equal to B. So, x by a plus y by a is equal to 1, right? Since a is equal to b. So, we know this point 2 comma 3 is lying on this line, right? So, therefore, this line, this point satisfies this equation. So, we can substitute x comma comma x and y as 2 comma y, 2 comma 3, right? So, 2 by a plus 3 by a is equal to 1. So 3 plus 2 is 5 by a is equal to 1. So this implies a is equal to 5 which is nothing but b right. So now we have got this point this is 5 comma 0 right and here this point is 5 0 comma 5 correct. Here b is also 5 so this point will be 0 comma 5. Now it is easy to find the equation of this line, right? We know 2 point, so you can go for 2 point form or you can also go for intercept form. We know the intercepts, right? So let us put the intercept form here. So x by a is 5 plus y by b is 5 is equal to 1. So here this is nothing but x plus y is equal to 5. So, this itself is the equation of this line L. So, I repeat, since we have already found this intercepts A and B, we know when intercepts are given, we can go for intercept form, right? So, here we know A and B is equal to 5. So, we went for intercept form. So, x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. So, you will simplify it to get the equation x plus y is equal to 4. So, this is the equation of a line L. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see one last problem but before that pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this last problem. Here it says find the equation of the line through the point 0, 2 making an angle 2 pi by 3 with a positive x axis 
Also find the equation of the line parallel to it and crossing the y axis at a distance of 2 units below the origin. So here we have two questions. So first let's see the first part. So they are asking find the equation of the line through the point 0 comma 2 making an angle 2 pi by 3 with a positive x axis. So 0 comma 2. So this point 0 comma 2 making an angle 2 pi by 3. So 2 pi by 3 is 120 degree. So 2 into 180 by 3 that will give you 120 degree in the positive direction. So that means the line is like this. So this angle is 120 degree or 2 pi by 3. So here we know the angle. So if you put tan theta that will give you the slope of this line right. So let us take this line as L. Here we have to find the equation of this line. So first let us find the slope. So slope m is equal to we know tan theta which is equal to tan of theta here is 120 degree. So tan 120 degree. So you can write as tan of 180 degree minus 60 degree. So this will give you 120 right. So tan of 180 minus 60. So the second quadrant. So this will be minus tan 60 degree. So we know minus tan 60 is root 3. So we got the slope. So we have a slope and a point. So let us go for slope point form. So y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So this is your x1 y1 and slope we already have. So y minus y1 is 2 is equal to minus root 3 into x minus x1 is 0. So this implies, so this equation will be y minus 2 is equal to minus root 3x or you can rearrange this equation to this one we will bring to the other side that will be root 3x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. So this is the equation of this line L. Now let us see the second part of the question. Here they are saying find the equation of the line parallel to it. That means a line that is parallel to this line and crossing the y axis at a distance of 2 units below the origin. So 2 units below the origin 1, 2. So there is a point here that line that passes through this point is parallel to this line. So that means like this. So now we have to find the equation of this line. Let us take L dash. So this coordinate is, this point is 0, comma minus 2 right. So let me erase this. So here we know this line is parallel to this line that means their slopes are equal right. So what was the slope? So we know m1 is equal to m2 which is equal to what was the slope minus root 3 right. Here m1 is the slope of line L and m2 is the slope of line L dash which is equal to minus root 3. So we know slope of this line is minus root 3 and the points are 0 comma minus 2. So let us put the slope point form. So y minus y1. So this is x1 y1. So minus 2. Minus of minus is plus 2 which is equal to slope is minus root 3 into x minus x1 is 0. So this will be y plus 2 is equal to minus root 3x. So let us bring this this side. This will be plus. So root 3x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the line L dash. So I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then take care. Almighty bless.